some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. First things first, uh, I've got a little video for you in the description box below of a uh, subscriber of mine that created a video about the Benghazi rabbit and, well, how the locals in the area are getting really tired of him and his antics. So go ahead and check that video out and uh, spread the word on uh, that douchebag. Now for today's video, I've got a, a wonderfully arrogant softard brought to us by Crime Cam Now and sent to me by a subscriber of mine. I really appreciate this one. This is a golden gem of an idiotic softard. We start off with the softard going 75 in a 60 mile an hour zone and it just uh, escalates from there with the uh, softard making all sorts of excuses as wh to why she tried to flee from the cops. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I can hear you. I need a driver license in charge, please. I can't hear you. I need your window down. You're speeding. You are. The speed limit's only 60. We're going 75. So is everybody else. Right. I can't pull everybody. I got your license insurance. I need your driver's license insurance, ma'am. Do what? Okay. You got an ID on you? I need you to step out of the vehicle then. Do what? I can't hear you. I don't think you'll like it when the supervisors show up because when they do, they just about completely call you a total moron as far as your actions go. I mean, there were far better things you could have done than run away and act like a complete and total soft hard. Come, to drive, 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 drive. Okay, I'll get one on here for you. The quicker I get your license and insurance, okay, the quicker we can right get now. out of here. Okay. The quicker I get your information, right the quicker we can get out of here. Okay. She's Thank low. you. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, here's the issue that's about to pop up. Uh, this lady gets out of the car and, uh, well, claims that her daughter is about to have an issue due to low blood sugar, a.k.a. diabetes, and that she needs to get some food for her before something uh, major happens. And so she decides to drive off. But, you know, dumbass, uh, you could have stayed and let the officers call you an ambulance and get that taken care of. But uh, there's an excuse for that, too, which will be revealed later in the video. We don't want to give it all away at once now, do we? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you want me to call an ambulance for you? Would you like me to call an ambulance for you? Okay. My supervisor. Would you like my supervisor? He's on the way. Okay. Would you like me to call an ambulance for you? Okay. 
You know, I love a good police chase as much as anybody else, but this this particular one is a bit boring. So I'm going to speed it up some and uh, put some epic music on just to give you that feeling that something is actually going to happen. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? That's much too early. Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. This total dumb dumb of a soft tar tried to uh, flee and elude the police officers uh, for a mere tra traffic violation. And here she is about to make things worse when she adds resisting arrest to that. Man, oh man, you are just racking up the charges, aren't you? Why you're following me around? Put your hands on Get out of the car. Get out of the car, ma'am. Stop. Ma'am, get out of the car. 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 Stop it. Get out of the car. Stop it. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, man. Get out of the car. Get the fuck away from her. Get the fuck away from her. Get the fuck away from her. Get out of the car. I'm not. Get away from me. Get out of the car. I'm not. Get, get away from car. me. I told you my daughter's having a emergency. I understand that. I told you I'll request EMSA. No. You we're cannot not run from the set. traffic stop. I'm not, I don't have to contract Please with you. Please stop. I'm not Please. contracting Please. with you. I don't know who fed you this uh, BS about uh, this being nothing more than contract uh, laws. Uh, but, you know, you're way out there as far as that goes. This is not about contracts this is about the laws and according to oklahoma law you have to have a driver's license you have to be insured you have to have your vehicle registered and you do have to show your id at a traffic stop you ditzy soft tard i mean there's no excuse for what you did here today i'm not contracting with you get out of the car call 911 get out of the car call 911 Come out of the car. Oh yeah, classic. Calling nine one one on the uh, police. Yeah, okay. Like that's really gonna work out for you. In fact, if you do actually make that call, you'll probably end up being charged with abuse of the nine one one system. You moron. I'm not getting out. Get out of the car. I'm not Get out of the car. I'm not contracting. Get out of the car. I'm not. Get out of the car. Hey, please. Get out of the car. I'm not getting out. Get out of the car, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, get out of the car. I, I need what? Uh -uh. Get out of the car, ma'am. I need you to send one of your supervisor officers to the E Express at Memorial and Bryant. Your officer is trying to get out of the car. She's not getting out, and her passenger daughter is trying and to help stop her. My daughter is trying to get right something now. to eat. I'm not going to get out of this. I'm not contracting with you. Let go of my hand. No, ma'am. I'm not getting out with you. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm not going anywhere with you. I didn't contract with you. Let go of my wrist. Let go. I want you to take my credit card in and go get you something to eat. Go. Because I'm not leaving. I want you. Stop. I need you to come to Memorial and Bryant. You have an Oklahoma City police officer that is trying to break my arm. And my daughter is ill. And I'm trying to get her something to eat. He is literally breaking my arm. In Memorial, an Oklahoma City police officer. He has my license, my insurance, and he's trying to break my arm. 
and I, I, I do not contract with the Oklahoma City Police. My daughter is ill, and I need to get her food. He's trying to make me contract with an ambulance, and I do not want to. He is breaking my arm. He's breaking my arm. Wow, you are just so damn stupid. It's ridiculous. Nobody is going to force you to contract with the ambulance. If you deny service to yourself, that is okay. They'll just leave you to leave you be and uh, let you uh, do do what you want to do. Now, as far as how it goes with children in Oklahoma, that you would have to look up the individual laws for. Which brings me to another question. If you know your child is diabetic and needs to uh, consume food in order to uh, prevent the issues, then uh, why aren't you planning ahead? Why don't you have any food in your car or anything like that on your person at any given time that way there won't be such a big emergency no he's trying to pull me out of my own vehicle and i want him to i want i don't have to i want you to let go let go of me man ma'am let go of me no let let go with me. I'm not getting out of, out of my car. You need to get out of the car. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get out. I'm not getting out of the car. I don't have to. Dude, I'm not getting out. Okay. Go in and get you some food. Go in and get you some food. Ma'am, you need to step out of the car. Go in and get food. Stop. Let go of me. No, ma'am. I don't have to contract with you, ma'am. I don't have to contract with you. Get out of the car. I don't have to contract with you. Get out of the car. I'm not going to. I don't have to contract with you. Please, please, please. Please don't stop. Hurt. Please don't hurt her. Still holding on to her. She's not getting out of the car. I'm not getting out. Please, I'm not getting please, out. Please don't hurt her. Please stop. My daughter needs food. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to hurt her. Go in and get, get your food. I'm not getting out. I don't have to. Dude, I don't have to. I don't have to contract with you. Girl, go in and get you something to eat. Go. Go get you something to eat. That's why we came all the way here, because I'm out of gas, and she needs food. Please let go. Please. Please let go of me. No, ma'am. My daughter is ill. And you're, you're not, not helping. You're not helping not with that. I am helping. I'm trying to get her food. And I was driving I, the I same speed limit it, as I everyone else. it to you? You as took as my license and you were... You'd be good to go. I'm not doing that. I was going to write a quick citation you were going to be good to go. D dude, my daughter's... And I understand that. And I offered to call IMSA for you. I don't want IMSA. We don't out. contract with IMSA. I don't have money for it was, IMSA. It, it, was, it was just to check on her to make sure she was okay. I have been doing this since she was five. I would like you to let go of my arm. I'm not going to let go of your arm, man. Okay. okay. Well, I guess we'll just remain here because I'm not getting out of my car and you're not jerking me out. So you can go write your citation and I'm going to get my daughter some food. We're past that now, so you decided to run. I didn't run, man. I don't contract with you. I okay. gave you what you asked for and I asked you to come on because I have to get her food. My daughter's... I wasn't speeding. What's up, man? You know, uh... Soft arts tend to have a lot of word games. I mean, you gotta really dive deep into what they're saying. Uh, so, uh, soft art, what is your definition of speeding? So that way we can uh, try to get you back in reality, if that's at all possible. Oh, um, you know. You know, trying to get people that Thank we you. actually traffic with. You're a trafficker, and you've got me here breaking my arm. Because you probably traffic all the dope in here, don't you? You got, you got evidence for that? Otherwise, if you don't, that's considered to be slander. So if you have no proof of uh, this officer trafficking any kind of substance, then uh, you got nothing, you know, like the uh, space between your ears. Completely and totally nothing. Please! 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 Lieutenant Goodman, listen, listen. I'm not. Listen to me. I'm not. Yeah, she was sick. Your daughter, she was sick Stop. and we were... I'm not leaving this car. You're going to get taken. I'm not leaving. Okay, she tased me. Listen to that. Listen to I'm not. Me. I'm not leaving my car. Just listen to that. I didn't do anything. Step out of the car. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. You broke my leg.
Okay, I broke my left arm. Leave me alone. Go I didn't do anything. Go I'm not going. I didn't just contract with you guys. Stop. I didn't contract I with you. I didn't, I didn't do anything. Stop. Please stop. Hey, stop. Please stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop. I didn't Don't contract go. with you guys. I'm not getting in here. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, you can hurt me. I don't care. We don't I want to hurt you. I know my daughter. She's <laughs> trying to get her food. We're here until MCGMT. She's okay. trying to get her food. Cross your legs, okay? Food. Cross your legs for me. Just stop. You guys all traffic dope in here. And you're sitting here doing this to women and children. Damn! Oh, now look what we got here. Uh... We're now mixing in uh, the slander that we had before, mixed in, mixed in with the victim complex. And now it's a based on gender as well. So we got a trifecta going on right now. Tell me, uh, Softard, what else can you pile on for us? Ma'am, I'm Lieutenant Goodman. I'm the supervisor you asked for to come to the scene. I know. Oh, I see you were laughing at me, and I needed to leave. Call me out listen, okay? Let me know. Okay? He did his job, okay? You're so she was not in medical distress. We could have sent an ambulance where you were if you needed one. I want you to leave me alone because I didn't That's contract not with you guys. Okay? I don't even know what you mean by contract. You were violating because some type of a traffic law that got you stopped. It wasn't. He realized that there was not a medical emergency there. He said he was going to write you to get Regina. He, he did it, though. None of that's true. He did None of that. He, he, he did stop, stop me. Okay. He did. He tell you why. He wouldn't. And then he said I was speeding, but I was going okay. the same. So that's what, that's what you're But doing. I was going yeah. the same speed as everyone. Okay. I wasn't you. speeding. Okay. He told you why he stopped you. He did. He told you he was going to write you a ticket. said I wasn't going to yeah. give him my license because I wasn't contracting with you guys. I don't even know what that means. What do you mean by contract? I'm not, I'm not doing business here. So I told him I gave him my license. You know, are you just helping to I am. I'm out of our country. Even the laws of your country. Oh, okay. We got one that actually admits to being a sovereign citizen and that they believe in the laws of this country. Uh, well, let me ask you something. Uh, if you believed in the laws of this country, then why were you speeding? Why did you uh, uh, try to elude the cops just now? Why did you try to risk this arrest? I mean, if you actually believe in the laws, you wouldn't have done any of that. Am I right? Or is it that you just believe in the laws, but you believe that they don't apply to you because you're a sovereign citizen? Is that what it is? Yeah, that's got to be it. Okay, and you I told him that you're accountable when you're speeding. You're I like, am, but I laws. wasn't speeding. I was going up so the same thing as everyone else around me. If you disagree with charge, you probably wouldn't do that. So I'm not sure why you think it's okay to drive away from the police because officer. Because I told him that my daughter's blood sugar was low and that we had to get here because I'm out of gas and that she needed food immediately. When we left Norman, she was already low. And so we you tried drove to from get Norman all the way up to almost the Broadway extension without stopping to get her food, but all of a sudden it's an emergency when you get pulled over? No, it wasn't an emergency when we got pulled over. Do yeah. you know anything about Okay, so it gives you alerts. Okay, well, it gives you alerts, and I got an alert, and we were trying to get to the food, but I don't, so I don't just alerts. stop and eat. How many restaurants did you pass? No, sir, I didn't pass any. Not when she got low. Between Norman and where you got stopped. I was trying to tell you that we were coming from Norman, and I'm trying to tell you that her blood sugar went low, and this was the place that we had planned to get fuel and the food. And I was trying to get here to the exit. So I just the exit. were willing to drive this far, then it was not an emergency. You couldn't stop long enough for him to conduct his business and be violent the truck. I asked him. One of the others. He was work. dropping at that point, and I was asking him. I said, "I gave you my stuff. Can you please hurry? I'm not doing business here." And he's laughing. He's laughing. Your well, officer see, is laughing. Everything's recorded on car camera and body camera. We can address that. But we can't address things like that when you're violating traffic laws. How many police officers do you have tied up here? Police helicopters coming. You got, you have got the highway patrol. You have, you have our officers. You you do. And that's what happens when you run from the police. I didn't run stop. from the police. You left the traffic stop. You I, the traffic I told stop. him. I said, you have my license and my insurance. This is an emergency. I need to go to that gas station. I'm getting more food. I'm not I'm not lying. And you can't just sit there and shake your, your head. Location if it was an emergency. You're, I'm sorry. An ambulance would have been dispatched. I don't want an ambulance. I can't pay for an ambulance. 
And we don't need an ambulance for low blood sugar. We don't need an ambulance. The fire fire's got out of jail. Transport costs are low. I've lived with her since 2015 with this. We've had the police and and the so ambulance. So bottom line is, you're being held accountable for the laws you invoke. This is all based on your conduct, not the officer's. He's doing what he's supposed he's, to do. He did it. He, he pulled, I wasn't speeding. I had four cars going the same. He, well, that's he, what court's for. That's not, you don't take off on the scene if you disagree with that. Well, I take off if my daughter needs blood sugar, no, if she needs sugar. To you, no, that's not how we do it. That's how you do it. I don't that's, contract that's with... Obey the law. I don't contract with the ambulance. So you're going to impound my car, too? Are you going to impound my car? You need to... No, 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 listen. Sit down. Sit down. I just need to ask. Come on, man. You need to ask what? What do you need to ask? I, I mean, can't my somebody come get my car? Come on, I'm... I... And poor, okay, and I just. Is your body camera on? Will you turn? Oh yeah, come over here real quick. Let me. I don't want you right, guys to look name, at me anymore. I'm Lieutenant Wagner, okay. I'm gonna have to do a follow-up investigation on the use of force when they had to pull you out of the car. Okay, you want to give me a statement about what happened as far as when they took you out of the car? I just want you to know that I wasn't deserving of being pulled over. Okay, I know that, but I want you to just talk to me about what no, happened I'm being when you got pulled up. out of the car. Do you want to give me a statement about that? I okay. Don't with you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. You suck. So you have an officer that comes by to investigate the use of force, and you won't even talk to him? Oh, boy, you're not a very bright one, are you? Because your statement uh, could show something that uh, everybody else missed. Even the cameras don't always pick up everything, you blooming idiot. You're welcome. It's all men, all men. And, you're, and, and you know we're in the 50th worst state for women to survive, okay. and we're survivors of domestic violence. Her dad tried to kill her, that's why she has uh, biotoxins, and we just still get destroyed by men here. All men standing around here, not a seat. And he trafficked with you guys. He trafficked with you guys in 2015. Methamphetamines. Officer Long, where is he? So disgusting. The whole group is disgusting. My arm is broke. It hurts. I I just don't want to contract with you. I just don't want to be checked out. So thank you. I'll just live with the broken arm. Okay? Are you sure? Yeah. Can you tell I appreciate me it. No. Okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. For somebody whose arm is broken, uh, I sure find it interesting that uh, apparently you refused medical attention from the uh, paramedics that arrived there. I mean, come on now. If you really did have a broken arm, I'm sure you would be screaming in a lot of pain right now and wanting to be taken to the hospital. I mean, good freaking grief. And, and somebody that was out of gas that was going the same speed as everyone else so he targeted us that's what he did a little longer than a few minutes later um she's got an injury in her left arm so i'm gonna help hey lean up against me i'm gonna put you on your feet okay okay this way man you do right am i right yeah there you go oh, like I'm sure. okay there you go i know it felt, okay. felt odd i do i feel dizzy <laughs> Okay, don't be rough with me, okay? I'm not being rough okay. with you. Okay, because he's already broke my arm. Okay, separate your feet. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke and stab your arm? No, I don't. You're not going to lift my shirt up and put all the skin over here. Don't I'm not talk to me like that. Up. I'm going to look in your face. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to face the car. You're not going to treat me like that. I'm, you're not going to treat me like that. Okay? Stop. Just, just listen. All you have to do is stand here and face the car you're while I pat you. Yeah. With me. If you're not going to cooperate, then I'm going to have to. You're not going to treat me out here Thanks. in front of other people. You're right. I'm not. Yeah, you're not. You fucking little bitch. Lady, I don't drug, I don't uh, traffic drugs like you guys do. I you're the no drug trafficker. Bullshit. We're turning around towards you, okay? Yeah, I don't, I don't really put her in a car. Stick all over my body. Yeah, traffic drugs. I know who you are. Okay. Hey, she's been, no, she's been charged. Yeah. Okay, squawk over here. Okay. Walk over that car right over there. 
Please, please, please. Are you going to get the car? Can I get my pants there to get the car? Get in the car, please. Kids are going to tinker me if please, I don't. No. Please ask you to get in the car. I don't want to get in the car. I don't want to go. I'm not, I don't want to get in the car. I don't want to contract this way. No. I don't want to. You have to get in the car. Why? No, I don't, I don't deserve to go to jail. That man please was laughing at me. Please get in the car. Put your feet in. I don't want to go to jail. Please get in the car. Sir, I am not. I don't deserve to go to jail. I was taking care of my daughter. Put your feet in the car. Let's go. It's a foregone conclusion, ma'am. <laughs> it's armed kidnapping. This is armed kidnapping. Yeah, say that to the judge, uh, soft heart, uh, because, you know, there is a distinction between arrest and kidnapping. The arrest is done by a lawful authority, while the kidnapping is done by the average citizen who uh, means to cause harm, injury, or anything of that nature to the victim or the victim's family. But, you know, no matter what the soft arts call it, it's just still going to be an arrest, which is done by the lawful authorities. But they don't see them as lawful authorities anyway, so that's why they call it kidnapping. But it's all just one big soft art word game anyway. Something that uh, really doesn't hold up in the legal system of this country. So, yeah, good luck with uh, explaining that to a judge. And as far as your children go, I hope they're released to the custody of your... Uh, more sane members of your family if you should go to uh, prison over this. So good luck with that, dumbass. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the okay. property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Still, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you are not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.